Hi there, Mikhail is here, and I have a question for you. Is this photo of Earth or Mars? Maybe it's Mars, because, you know, the red planet has these reddish deserts, dark mountains, and there are almost zero clouds. However, this image was taken by a French astronaut Thomas Pesquet, and as far as we know, the station orbits Earth. This profile on Flickr has dozens of amazing photos of our planet, so why not visit it after this video? Isn't it amazing that Earth has so many different landscapes that can be easily seen from space? There are thousands of active satellites orbiting our planet and a bunch of probes that are exploring other parts of the solar system. Maybe right now they're observing exactly your country, your city, or even you. In this video, we're going to have a look at the most extraordinary images of our planet. And trust me, there will be photos that will definitely make you feel small. Carry on watching this video, because we'll be very interesting. Why don't we start with the year 1946, the dawn of the Cold War, Italy abolished monarchy, and the first photo of Earth was taken from space. This blurry piece of history was captured by a German V-2 rocket at a distance of 65 miles from the surface of the planet. Even though this is a dull black and white picture, it was a very big deal back in the 1940s. One year later, American scientists managed to capture another but more interesting image of Earth clouds, this time at an altitude of 100 miles. And yes, Earth is not flat. But just 100 miles? This is not interesting at all. What will happen if we travel a little bit further into space? Let's say 22,300 miles from Earth. At this exact distance, the satellite ADS-1 captured the very first photo of Earth and the Moon together. The Moon in this image is located 270,000 miles from the camera. During the space race, NASA managed to take different shots of our planet, like this one, and this one, and this one, and even this one, but you already know about them, right? We need something more captivating, like a family portrait. Back in 1995, the Galileo spacecraft became the first probe to orbit Jupiter. However, three years earlier, it flew near Venus and Earth to use their gravitational forces to move faster. During one of these maneuvers, it captured this fascinating photo that NASA calls Family Portrait. Even though the Moon seems to be so close to our planet, the distance between them is 240,000 miles. In case you're wondering how many days it takes to cover such a distance, it took Apollo 11 three days to reach the moon and later pollute it. As you have noticed, with every picture we are getting further and further from Earth. But while we are still close to it, let's have a look at this bizarre photo. I, just like you, have an obvious question. Why is it so rad? This image takes us to the year 2004, when it was captured by Messenger spacecraft. What's interesting is that it also used Earth's gravity to get to a certain planet called Mercury, and scientists wanted it to look at our planet through infrared light. Because of this, it somehow captured more details. But I'm too tired to explain how, so here's a very interesting fact. Healthy plants reflect more infrared light than stressed plants, so bright red indicates dense forests. Good job, Brazil! Apart from pictures that I mentioned earlier, there are thousands of beautiful images that show all possible locations on our planet. However, we don't have much time to see all of them, so why don't we start our journey to other planets? While traveling further into space, the smaller our planet looks like. On its way to Jupiter, the Juno spacecraft took this shot 6 million miles away from Earth. Two years later, just like many interplanetary probes, it had to fly past Earth, and not only did it receive a boost in speed, but it also sent to us a stunning animation of our home planet. 
But what about 114 million miles? It's even more than the distance between the Sun and Earth, but it wasn't the problem for the messenger spacecraft to look back and capture this view of our planet. Looks pretty neat. And yes, this small dot near Earth is the Moon, and not an asteroid that is going to wipe out our civilization. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to find any pictures of Earth taken from the Venus orbit. So let's pretend that this what average Venusians see when they look at our planet. Mars, on the other hand, has many sneaky probes, and these sneaky probes have cameras. Right now you're looking at the first shot of our planet taken from another. The image was received using Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's camera, which can be compared to a small emitter telescope located 88 million miles from Earth. You know, if you want to immigrate to Mars, you can always take your telescope and have a look at our wonderful planet. This is, by the way, what it looks like in the Martian sky without any optical instruments. Earth in the sky seems brighter than Venus, and an observer would be able to see even the Moon to the naked eye. Honestly, astronomy on Mars is a very interesting topic, so if you want me to make a video about it, leave your comment below. Boost my videos, please. Oh, how could I forget about spacecrafts in solar orbit? If you're interested in what Earth looks like from our star's orbit, just look at this image where you can see Venus, Earth, and Mars as seen by the NASA ESA Solar Orbiter. Maybe this is the kind of view that Starman sees in his roadster. Anyway, let's proceed further into the solar system, and since Jupiter is not that important, we'll just skip it. You all probably already saw this picture where gorgeous Saturn is shining magnificently, and Earth is a small star right here. Also, you can see Mars. However, another image is more interesting and even tragic in my opinion. This view from NASA's Cassini spacecraft shows Earth between the icy rings of Saturn. The probe captured the view on April 12, 2017, and it was 870 million miles away from Earth. It was the last time when Cassini was able to look at our planet. Just five months later, its mission would be over, and it burned up in Saturn's atmosphere, never to send any images again. I hope that this video was quite useful for you. And I already hear voices of people saying, hey, you forgot that picture called Pale Blue Dot. You know, the last picture of Voyager 1, 4 billion miles away from Earth, Carol Sagan, a very nice man, by the way. And you are completely right. I forgot to mention this picture because everybody knows about it. So many people have talked about the importance of the Pale Blue Dot. So, I don't think that I will be able to say something more interesting. This image is a magnificent example of how our world is both small and fragile, how we sometimes forget that all of us live on the same planet, and that all of our differences exist only in our minds. This is true, and all of the images that were shown in this video represent the same idea. We all are humans and our only motherland is planet Earth, or Mars if you watch this video in the year 2070. In case you want to download images from the video in high resolution, I have left a very useful link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye!